conflict of interest, that is the word in the Donna Adelson trial, which has now been suspended and uh, is going to be going to case management October 15th to figure out what's going to happen next. Why is there a conflict of interest? Because the attorney, Dan Rashbaum, was also the attorney for Charlie Adelson. Why the Adelsons thought it was a great idea for him to represent Donna in the upcoming case, that's anyone's guess. But at the very last minute, he needed Charlie from behind bars to, to sign a waiver uh, that allowed Rashbaum to represent both him and his mother. Charlie decided that literally, as the jury was being selected, I'm not going to sign this. Blows your mind. Uh, it's ready to go. Why delay this any further? But it's the Adelson. Joining me to discuss, Robin Drake, retired FBI Special Agent, Chief of the Counterintelligence Behavioral Analysis Program. What do you make of this behavior? Every time this case comes up, Tony, all I want to do is throw up. <laughs> um, they, <laughs> there's my quote of the day. These people just are the most horrendous, abhorrent group of, <laughs> as you said it before, uh, the show star is like, and they call themselves a family. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a horrible people disguised as a family. And think this is it. First of all, I got to keep looking at the number of people. I got to keep trying to dissect and and understand who's who in this. And when you're dealing with, and we've dealt with them before, these murder for hires, if you're going to do something really dumb, first of all, by doing a murder for hire, and you want to elevate that to tr true moron idiot level, involve a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what these idiots have done. And not only that, but they're really bad at it. And this is also one of those situations that you know, we're trying really hard to think deep down what was going on there was a strategy here no i think they're just idiots i literally think they're self-serving fools that have no idea what the hell they're doing and the rest of us are caught up in their stupid maelstrom of of loserdom <laughs> what a, yeah. what a, I'm, I'm pontificating on these guys today. yeah i don't i don't i find them the most boring abhorrent group of people i've we've ever covered i don't like them at all and I, it, I, they're not even interesting I, you know i don't like any of these people we cover yeah. but these ones aren't aren't even interesting on a behavior level because they're just fools and that's what it, it, it's starting to feel like here because it, 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 it we sit here i've been sitting here all day talking about this case trying to dissect it trying to figure deep down what is going on and maybe that's just it they're just idiots because donna seemed very troubled by this in in court uh, when the attorney had to resign. And he was actually her attorney prior to being yeah. Charlie's attorney. Uh, but having to resign, I don't know if it was a move by Charlie to try and protect his mother or what by by not signing this because then prevent, because otherwise he would be able to testify and they could throw him under the bus. But everybody seems to have their own priorities in this. I guess it's what you do when you have, they're all narcissists. It's not mm -hmm. necessarily like, originally they were all one cohesive unit that were trying to go for the same thing. But then once it all blew up, they're all on their own path of me, me, me. And that's not going to work because that just goes out in, into all different tendrils uh, of, of, of self-importance. Yeah. And, and I saw it, you know, on court TV too, there, you know, were saying, was this some grand strategy by Charlie, you know, to, to screw things up or to delay the case we really shouldn't give these people too much credit. I, yeah. I think it's the complete opposite. I think they're completely impulsive. I think he showed up and at the last minute decided, oops, nope, I don't want to do that. I, I literally, if we're, I don't think they think too hard about this because even if they had done one Google search mm -hmm. on on the Google machine <laughs> that said, what's the best way to do a murder for hire? It was completely the opposite of everything they did. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think they premeditate or think anything out at all. I think they're I think they're impulsive, self-serving fools, and it and it's and it's destroying not only everyone around them and everyone in touch, but it's it's having this massive impact on the criminal justice system down there as well. Because now all the cost that was involved in bringing people here, there, everywhere, the waste of time. I mean, just and it's all because it's not a grand scheme. I just think they're idiots. Yeah. And sometimes that's that's what it is. I mean, we we, yeah. sometimes, we we're always looking for a reason and answer. That's why you get conspiracy theories and things like that. Sometimes it is just that they're just idiots. Every time in anyone's life you hit hit a, whether it's a, a true crime case or just something in life where you're trying really really hard to figure out what what someone was really thinking. It must have been this great scheme. No, if you're thinking that hard, you're overthinking it. Yeah. 
go to the simplest level possible. And that's probably most likely what it is because our reps, you know, that life arc of everything that I've ever covered and you've ever covered in life and in true crime is if we're thinking too hard, it's wrong. Yeah. These people are not bright people because bright people, healthy people that have a good cognitive, thoughtful process on how to problem solve in life. Don't do this stupid crap. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts and especially Apple Podcasts where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.